Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Wednesday, and you know what that means. The team voting, or the SBC vote, is going to be decided today for the vote that we had on Monday, and we're going to be getting a new one. Now, of course, on Monday, we had that vote between Sané and Silas, of course, with the Bundesliga being the league that EA is focusing on this week, with the weekend league objectives confirmed yesterday on Tuesday, as well as an 86 plus player pick as our content. I want to talk about that SBC that could be coming today, how that Bundesliga stuff is still trending on the market, and how that 86 plus actually made the low tier fodder and rare golds in general absolutely balloon to like some of the highest prices we've like ever seen for general rare gold cards on the market and also how the 85 times 10 is about to expire and how we hope EA Sports literally just copy paste that SBC out for another week because I really would love to see this grind again still available for this next week um, with the batch two of footies still going to be in packs next week and that grind just so fun right so I want to talk about that but the first thing is first this SBC on tap for today these are the two cards we could see right Sane and Silas, right? Of course, we're hoping for some big boosts. I think both of these cards would be incredible in their own right. But since Silas had that team of the season item, the boost on this card could be insane. Hopefully, they upgrade that weak foot to at least a four-star EA. Just make it a five-star, five-star if he were to win. But in all realistic reality today, I think Sane is going to take this home. Again, Prem fans probably going to vote Sane because of his links and where he used to play at City. Of course, just being a well-known player, Bayern Munich as well, the German nationality, he's very linkable, right? Very usable for this next weekend league if it's a good value SBC. And then Silas, though, you have, of course, the hype, the FIFA hype, the memes, just everything that is fun in FIFA right now. I really hope that Silas wins. I voted for him, but I don't think it's actually going to happen. I think it's going to be Sané today. And hopefully this SBC for Sané is somewhere around the range or cheaper than um, the, I'm going to say like, it's got to be cheaper than like the Dybala. It's got to be somewhere around like the Robin price, uh, in my opinion, right? If they're going to give um, Sané that card today, I hope it's somewhere around like that 200,000 coin range. And I hope it's just like the Robin SBC as well, where it's not a ton of different squads to do. It's just a normal SBC, right? A normal SBC, which if I could show you and find that SBC right here, boom, Robin, it's three squads to complete, 82, 84, 86. That would be a great SBC for Sané today if that is the case of him winning. Same thing for Silas. If he wins as well and they give him a boosted card, we really, really hope that it is Silas today. But I think that, again, the casual... The casual FIFA player has so much more of an impact on these votes than our player picks just because everybody can get the vote. You just log into FIFA, you log in, and boom, you have a vote right there. So I think Sané is going to end up winning today, but we'll, of course, keep our hopes up just in case Silas is able to win. Now, whoever does not win could, of course, still get a card. Again, there's going to be some sort of like re-release or um, second chance for guys like Sissoko, guys like Silas, guys like David Silva, who did not win the first vote. So not all hope is lost, but it's going to be between these two guys today who gets in for the SBC. Now, speaking of another footies vote, usually on Wednesdays, we have a vote for the SBC that will come out on Friday. So I'm expecting another vote today. Not entirely sure what it is going to be league-wise. Again, I think we would still expect it to be Bundesliga. So hopefully it's a pretty nice vote today from some, some sort of a Bundesliga standpoint. Maybe they do another like five-star skills upgrade like they did for Daniel James, who won the vote last Wednesday uh, to get himself a SBC on Friday. So hopefully it is another one of SBCs like that today with a vote. But again, speaking of the SBCs, I want to talk about this 86 plus player pick and how that SBC came out yesterday. And it had a lot of hype, right? You take a look at this and on Flipin, 94% upvote. But to be honest, this 86 plus player pick was not really that good of a value because at one point, and you'll see here on Flipin, this SBC was about 50k to do and if you're doing this challenge if you're completing these two squads which the rare gold squad is what made this sbc expensive yesterday you would have had to pack a 93 rated tots card 94 rated tots card maybe even 95 if you're paying 50k for that sbc you have to get a 95 to actually quote unquote break even um in all honesty from the just the value that tots cards are 
on this market, unless of course you got like a 92 rated card, like, you know, something that was very meta, very usable and expensive, then of course you made it a W out of it. But for most people that just got random TOTS cards, random informs, foot birthdays or whatever else was in packs, um, to yesterday, this SBC wasn't really that great. And I think if you didn't do it yet, it's going to keep getting cheaper because that 85 times 10 is going away today on Wednesday. And I think that is going to bring some of those rare cards down, especially if we get good preview packs today, but all rares on the game yesterday with how cheap this SBC looked right away. You're like, Oh my goodness. It's just 11 non rares and 11 rare players. That's so easy to do. Everybody saw that though. They went out on the market, bought up all the rares that were high anyways, and they went to 4,000 coins a piece. That was the optimal time. If you had gold rares, that was 100% the optimal time to sell them because now they definitely are back down a little bit. And I don't expect them to go back up to 4k unless we get some sort of SBC today um, that would require gold rares. Again, that would be incredibly, incredibly hyped. I believe gold rares right now are like 2.7k. Yeah, so they're, so, they're, so they're still kind of expensive. They're still up at least seven to 800 coins from where they were yesterday, but nothing like it was earlier in the day when they were 4,000 coins. That was the optimal time. I would have cashed out on every single gold rare possible at that time if you did, GG's. They, again, they're still definitely up, and hopefully that uh, that hopefully we get some supply today, man. I really wanna see like another 88 plus star mega pack available in here um, because I wanna see the preview pack supply in the market because I think that would help a lot if you guys are trying to grind the 81 plus player picks. Those would be very grindable if the rares were able to get back down to around like the 1.2 to 1.5k range. Um, and as of right now, with this 85 plus still being out, and a lot of these SBCs like the Bala, like the Depay that people might still be doing, and like that 86 plus, since that is not repeatable, you won't see. Um, continual demand for rare golds and stuff like that. But with this 85 times 10 going away, I think you are going to see a lot less demand for the rare golds because that's basically these two squads. You use just all of your gold rares in with a couple of higher rated cards to get them done. So hopefully we see this going away today, um, you know, dropping some of the gold rare price on the market. But honestly, I'm totally fine if they just re up this. I would be 100% happy if they basically copy the Wednesday content from last week. Drop the CLAS or the Sana SBC, re up the 85 upgrade times 10, same requirements, same everything, and let us continue grinding, right? I'm totally down with it. I know some people are annoyed, again, that fodder is just extremely high. If you take a look, 81s are still 2.7 to 2.8K, 82s are 3.5, 83s are 4. 85s or sorry, 84s are actually dropping down a little bit, but I definitely get that it is annoying that rare cards, 81s and 82s, especially are up at like 3000 coins a piece because that makes it not easy and it makes it kind of expensive to do the 85 plus times 10, but it is so fun to grind with the draft packs, with the gold upgrade packs and stuff like that, that I kind of just hope that that continues to stay out. We will see what EA sports wants to do with that, but um, that would be very fun as well. Now, also, we just had a thought. We had a thought earlier today on the Twitch live stream when we had this content released. It would have been really fun if this 86 plus player pick was the new repeatable SBC because I think that would have been one that would have been so easy to grind as well. It would have definitely pushed non rares and rares up on the market a bit more, but that would have been very, very fun to have that as a repeatable SBC too. So, we will see what happens with this 85 times 10. I hope they re-release it. Again, just literally put it out for another week. EA Sports, that'd be a blast. Um, but my hunch is that they're not going to do it. Even if they did like an 83 plus times 10, you know, take the 85 rated squad off. But this SBC has been so fun to craft. If you've been doing Icon SBCs, this thing right here has been unbelievable, right? I even started Cruyff because of this. And I've only got, you know, 186, 285 rated squads left. I get into the 84s and then I'm down into the easy stuff. So, I mean, if I can do a couple more of those 85 times 10, like one or two more, and then get like one or two of these squads done, I mean, I'm going to be able to finish off this Cruyff if the rares drop down with 81 plus player picks very easily. So also three days left on the draft token upgrade. I just wanted to shout that because if you're somebody who's been grinding drafts, or if you feel like you need to stack up some draft tokens, um, that is one thing that is going away soon. I don't know about any other SBCs that are expiring pronto. Maybe uh, the Zaha goes away. Of course, the footing, footies voting day SBC, we'll get a new one of those 
Um, I believe today on Wednesday, another one of those tradable packs will be released. So that's kind of the content that was dropped yesterday and kind of what we're expecting today. Again, I don't know if they're going to release that 85 times 10 again. I hope they do for another week. That'd be great. But I do expect to see another footies player SBC today. Of course, Silas or Sané and another vote. That would be 100% what I expect today. Now, of course, yesterday we had it confirmed as well that the Bundesliga is in the weekend league plus this weekend again seven matches with minimum eight players in your starting squad so it's the exact same three weeks in a row now that we have had league or nation specific um weekend league plus and you know it was actually very interesting because you know a lot of the tots cards didn't go up that much some of them went up a little bit more um but for example like goretzka right goretzka is an interesting one to me because yes he was 300 and like 20 000 coins Right now, he's 419, which is up about 20K from where he was. But if you actually take a look at his graph, there were people yesterday that kind of bought this card up right when the content was dropped. His, his uh, price spiked up as a very rare card and obviously one of the most meta Bundesliga cards people would want to use in their weekend league team. He dropped back to 400K and is now kind of back up. I think that today on Wednesday, if we see preview packs that supply the market a decent amount, so 50Ks, 100Ks, um, 125s or, or any of those like 87 plus or 88 plus star packs if any of those are released even if it's like uh, a 45,000 coin pack with like multiple different opportunities but specifically those packs that I mentioned um, I would expect to see a little bit of a drop on these tots cards that are in packs and I would really really watch the Bundesliga watch the cards that have gone up a lot already like Holland I think was like 50k um before kind of the hype started i believe yeah i think he was down in the 60s and then you know really boomed up monday to 93,000 coins he's 100k now Lewandowski is definitely up sancho is up almost 100,000 coins i would watch this kimmich i would watch neuer i would watch davies just all of the meta cards that are bundesliga that people would be buying for their teams now also some people are hoping for you know you know some more bundesliga actual player sbcs now today since we're getting silas or sane I wouldn't expect one of those today um, or like anything extra unless it's in objectives. But maybe on Thursday, we'll get some sort of dynamic duo for the Bundesliga. We'll get some sort of transfer SBC for Bundesliga. Uh, maybe like an Upamecano or something like that would be a perfect thing that EA could throw in this week to kind of help that um, Bundesliga push, I guess you could say, in the game right now. So keep an eye on these TOTS cards, right? We've seen it a couple times before when they've released preview packs that supply the market a decent amount. This might be if you're trying to, you know, maybe find a spot where you can um, buy into some of these cards, they could go up a little bit further. I just don't know that the demand for Bundesliga Weekend League this weekend is going to cause the same movement that the market did last week. Because last week on Thursday, like literally everything in this game went up. I think people were really excited for the Premier League Weekend League requirements. I don't know if it's going to be that exciting this week because it, you can't use a lot of Summer Stars items. You can't use a lot of Path to Glory. There's just not that many cards out there that are super fun and meta. It's mostly about the Tots cards. So I'm very interested to see how the market does later tonight on Wednesday with rewards. But until we get there, we'll have to see what the preview pack content is, what the upgrade pack SBC content is, and of course, who does win the SBC today on this game. So I'm going to be keeping an eye on all of that stuff, grinding my last couple, um, 81, or sorry, 85 times 10 upgrade packs. I need to do some gold upgrades right here, right now, and get these sorted because I've got some gold in the club that I have got to put into this. And this is the craft we've been doing, buying gold non-rares and putting these guys into the SBC. If I have enough here, I'll be able to finish it off, which I think I do. And, you know, I've packed Sezinia Tots. I have packed um, I packed a couple Tots cards today from regular gold upgrade packs. So, I mean, seriously, this has been a great grind, buying the non-rares. Again, it's going to be all over today once the 85 times 10 does be removed. But... It's a great grind, man, and it's just a way to get some higher rated fodder, the occasional walkout or tots card, and um, just getting gold rares with a chance of packing something great. Boom, there's an 80 rated card. Bang, that'll help me for the SBC. That's literally like 5K, right? An 80 rated card, okay, not quite 5K, but those two cards combined, the 80 rated and the 77 with all gold rares being like 2.7 to 3K, you know, an 80 rated card on the market all of those are selling for like 3k as well so boom literally i just made money back technically from that pack also right now if you want to do any preview packs or even if i just do a non preview pack i'm just going to buy the 7.5k pack for real 
with 7.5k coins a lot of this right now is actually pretty profitable it's actually pretty profitable now some people were saying that they like dropped the weight on 7.5ks it seemed so that none of your players you were getting were rare in the pack which is kind of what you see here but you know maybe try a couple of these out see what you get because of course with all rares being 3,000 coins you get one or two of those and uh boom you're chilling so i didn't make any money there i'm probably not going to do any more of those but that's just one thing to keep an eye out for as well is um some of these i'm not going to preview well you know what might as well i might as well preview this i wanted to save it until 6 p.m tomorrow but i might as well preview it when i have the chance and it looks like i did not get anything good four players but none of them rare interesting so maybe the the rumors are true that getting the rares are very hard now i did get a rare here but um, yeah, so just kind of watch out for that because th those pack methods might be kind of viable right now if you're really trying to grind and it might be profitable. So that's just what is going on in the game ATM. And uh, again, really hoping for this SBC today to be a banger. Great value regardless, whether it's Sane or Silas. And we got our fingers crossed for Silas. That's my vote. That's my opinion. That's who I am hoping for because that'd be a really, really fun card. But that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.